kohaloyim la alahayina wa wahawad la yahawa bahashem yahwashay bahashem waha kodash raka. All praises and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, in the name and the Holy Spirit. I want to say Shalom, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Okay, back at it again with another lesson entitled Fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Yeah, it's basically what I'm saying is fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to get Ecclesiastes. Uh, so that, I'm going to start the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and I'm going to start at verse 13. And it reads, it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Okay, you have to fear Yahweh Shimiao Shai. The Most High is such a terrible power, it's, it's, it's so scary, it's unbelievable. The Most High is so terrible, it's unbelievable. Nobody on this planet wants smoke. With the Heavenly Father. And these Edomites that are making it, the videos made for kids and playing around. You know, really, to be honest with you, if they were to know their future of messing around with the Heavenly Father's gospel, they would not be doing what they're doing. But you see, because there's no fear of the Lord inside them, they're going to carry on doing what they do. But it's all good because the Most High is going to smoke them. And it's, it's actually scary, the pride level that these devils have because... Really, to be honest with you, the Most High is really, really got them on a. Let's read uh, Romans real quick. Yeah, Romans chapter nine verse seventeen. It says, "For the Scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth." Now, currently, right now, the name Yahweh Shimiao Shai. Is not famous right now, okay? But there's going to be a time where that name is going to be famous. Everyone on the planet is going to know the name. It's going to be a viral name. If you say the name Yahweh Hashem Shai, everyone is going to know it. But currently now, people don't know the name, okay? So Esau is, is basically an experiment that the Heavenly Father is using, okay? And the same way the Heavenly Father built up Pharaoh, the same way he's building up Esau, okay? Esau is the modern-day pharaoh that the Heavenly Father has built up. Now you see him with these helicopters and tanks and robots and all this, you know, technology that he has, okay? Because the Heavenly Father has raised him up, okay, just to crush him down. The Heavenly Father is known for uh, 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 raising people up and crushing them down like Jenga, okay? Let's get that in the book of Daniel. All right, the Most High gives the kingdom to whomsoever he will. Okay, this is Daniel chapter 4 and verse 25. That they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. And they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and they shall wet thee with the dew of heaven. You see, that's what the Heavenly Father did with Nebuchadnezzar. The Most High made him eat grass, man. And his skin started to become like some weird, you know, uh, 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 what's it called again? Where is that part? Uh, hey, man. Huh. The Most High really messed up Nebuchadnezzar, man. Okay. Made his skin look all weird and stuff like that. And these Edomites are way more proud than Nebuchadnezzar. A million times. Okay. It says, um, and they and they shall wet thee with the dew of heaven, and seven times shall pass over thee, 
till thou know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it giveth it to whomsoever he will you see so the most high gave uh, 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 esau his kingdom to rule right now that's the reason why you see them in canada you see them in america you see them in europe you see them in australia and right now they're living luxurious because the heavenly father has given them their wealth but you know the most high gave them their wealth for a certain period of time because of bible prophecy but the fact of these devils being as prideful as they are, the Most High is coming to get them, okay? And it's going to happen in our lifetime. And believe it or not, very soon we're going to be out of this place. We ain't got a long period of time inside this queendom, man, okay? And the reason why we say I say queendom is because this system has an effeminate spirit, okay? And we don't have no long period of time inside this queendom. Uh, this queendom has a long has a, a, a short period of time okay and anyone that tries to uh block the way the you're gonna get crushed into powder man that's just what it is anyone that's not down with this program is gonna get destroyed let's prove that zechariah 13 and 8 it says and it shall come to pass that in all the land saith Yahweh Ba Shimyal Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third part shall be left, but the third shall be left therein. So out of all of our people, <laughs> there's a lot of so-called Negroes and Hispanics and Native Americans living right now. But the most high said that he's only gonna deliver a one-third out of all the people that you see in the world, out of all the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, all across the world, there's only going to be a one-third that's going to be saved. All right, verse 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say it is my people and they shall say, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai is my power. Now, not every Israelite is saying, Yahweh Shai is my power. You got a lot of our people being atheists, agnostic, deist, Catholic, Pentecostal, all these different uh, uh, doctrines of devils. They're fully uh, involved into that. None, none of them are saying Yahweh Shai is my power. Okay? So, you know, there's going to be a remnant of our people that's going to make it. All right? And Esau is very aware that there's a remnant of our people that is going to, you know, get salvation. Which, like I always say in my videos, which the world calls the UFOs, which are dark-skinned, melanated beings that drive those vehicles, okay? And Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the one that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which his real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, okay? He only died for the Israelites, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? But yeah, going into it, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and he causeth all, and who's this he referring to? The wicked elites of Esau, the international banking families, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, okay? Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, all right? Free means those that are not uh, 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 in prison, and bond means those that are in jail, in prison, all right? To receive a mark, what's that mark? The RFID microchip in their right hand or in their foreheads, all right? And it can be your left hand, okay? Or your right hand, all right? And foreheads. Now, you know, those of you that have been watching my videos, you should already know what the mark of the beast is, all right? The RFID chip, the brain chip that that devil Elon Musk wants to bring out, okay? That's the mark of the beast. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, meaning that if you don't have that chip, you're not going to be able to buy items and purchase and sell and do trade, right? Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, meaning that, um, you know, the only way people are going to be able to purchase items is if they have uh, this chip. Verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. That's triple six, okay. And if you go to the shop and you get you, you purchase an item, 
they'll give you a receipt. And that receipt has triple six on it, man. Okay. And that's what these devils are coming to do. They're coming to bring their chip. So Esau now, you know, adjusting his 20 pound notes. In actuality, this devil is just tightening up his system. Okay. Because those uh, notes, all right, are used for security purposes. Those, um, what's the name of those notes again? These notes, these bank notes that people use in today's society, these plastic notes, I can't remember the name, but these notes that Esau has updated them to, they're used for security purposes. And very soon, these plastic notes are going to be adjusted into their chip. So this is what this is the time that you have to just stay strong because very very soon things are about to get tough. Okay, but what what, what are we commanded to do to put our faith and trust in the Most High? Because it's gonna get really really rough out here. So wear your seat belts tight because it's gonna be a really really rough journey out here, man. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. So you see the transatlantic slave trade? That is no comparison to what's coming. Okay, and I can't imagine something worse than the transatlantic slave trade. It's going to be bad out here, okay? So that none is like it. It's even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And now who's that? He that's going to be saved out of it? The elect. Because not all of our people are going to make it in this uh, 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 this um, iron and clay captivity, man. I majority of our people are going to be destroyed. That's the harsh reality, man. If you read 2nd Ezra 9 and 22, it says, Let the mortal two perish then, which was born in vain, and let my grapes be kept, and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. So, you know, the Edomites are going to be the ones that are going to be sweeping out you Israelites because you refuse to come back to your power, okay? Because you refusing to come back to your power leaves you defenseless. So now Esau can easily just rush tackle you and, and put you down, man, which these military officers are coming, getting set ready to do to attack you, Jakes. They refuse to come back to the Heavenly Father, but... The Most High said that when Esau comes in like a flood against the man of the Lord, the Most High is going to lift up a standard. Okay. Now, there's not everyone is going to receive a standard. Some brothers are going to be martyrs. But even though brothers die inside the faith, it's still going to be um, an honorable death. And you're, going, you're, not, you're not really dying. You're going to get uh, raised up. This is Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them. Right, this is the elect. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. Right? Beheaded mean that they got their heads sliced off, guillotine. Right? For the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, that's the system, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, or in their hands, all right, plural. So they didn't receive it in their left hand or their right hand. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. That's the millennial reign. That first dominion, man. The 1,000 years rulership where Esau is going to be in subjection, even the heathen nations. All right, not 1,000 years. It's going to be, a, you know, a serious time when Esau and these heathens are going to be broken into shivers with a rod of iron. Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. And that's what we're doing. We're, you know, trying our best to overcome, keeping these works, doing these digital epistles, prophesying, being a brother. I, all these works are being, uh, you know, counted, man. All right. Even though our righteousness is like filthy rags. We still got to make an attempt, all right? It says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. So this is sovereignty right here. So all of you people, you know, wondering about, um, you know, oh, you want to be a rapper, you want to be all that stuff. We, we Rappers are rubbish, man. You know, 
We're talking about ruling heathens, having, you know, power. You know how in this society they tell people everyone should go and wear a mask? That's the kind of power that we're going to have, man. Not holding a microphone and doing foolishness, man. Real power, real sovereignty, man. Verse 27, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Who's that them referring to? These heathens, man. The, the Israelite man going to have power. The elite Israelite man going to have power to rule these nations, man. Okay. As the vessels of potter shall they, these heathens, right, be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. All right. Because the Israelite men will have power to break these heathen nations, man. All you heathen nations that have been talking nonsense. It's going to be a time where the Most High going to give his men power to break you in shivers, man. Okay? Prophecy has to be fulfilled. And, you know, to verify that that prophecy has to be fulfilled, this is Isaiah 55, verse 11. And it reads, it says, So shall my word that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So if the Most High said with his own mouth that the Israelite, right? Because what's the Most High's mouthpiece? Yahushai, all right? He says, spoke, Yahushai is the Most High spokesman, all right? So if Yahushai said this, in red, okay, that means that these either someone has to get this is this is basically a signature to show that these heathen nations are gonna get their ass kicked, man. Okay, this right here is verification that these Edomites and these heathen nations are gonna get their ass kicked. So slavery is coming, recompense is coming for all you heathen nations, man. Okay. You can flag, you can dislike, you can age restrict, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. But one thing you're not going to do is stop this truth. You can strike, be my guest, man. Strike as many videos as possible. Be my guest. It's my pleasure. Strike, okay? Because I'm storing my riches in heaven. You can hate me as much as you want. But call Allah, Ya Bashim, Ya Shalom.